Hey guys, so I've been saying that I've wanted to make YouTube videos for a long time now. I've done polls on Instagram and I've just like talked about it in my personal life for so long. I have all the equipment to do it. So I think I've finally come to the conclusion that I need to start making YouTube videos. So I wanted to start out my YouTube videos doing something that I love to do, which is packing into the Adirondacks. Our pack-in is a little different than what a lot of people think of. We take our fishing canoes and we pack all of our gear in them and we portage them through the trails and fish for brook trout, lake trout. Um, I think there was rainbows in the lake we're going to as well. Okay, because the method that we're using is uh, trolling out of our canoes for brook trout using like clear wobblers. I will explain like exactly how to set this up um, later. I'll do like, I'll show you guys what I'm using. But we did this last June and it was amazing. It was such a great trip, even though we got stuck in a storm um, and our tent almost blew away. But whole different story. It's gonna be different this time. It's gonna be better. We're leaving at like noon today. It's the end of September. Weather should be perfect up there. I think it's gonna be 75 tomorrow on Saturday. Um, we're gonna stay till like late afternoon on Sunday so we can get some fishing on Sunday. It's not a super long trip. Then we're headed out. It's about a six hour drive from us. Stoked for this trip. I had so much fun last time and hopefully the fishing is good. And I'm gonna go over all the gear that we're bringing. Our canoes that we use for this trip aren't like your typical portage canoes. We definitely have heavier canoes. So I'm gonna show you guys what they are. So these, this one's mine right here. This one's Derek's. And then we have our trailer here, which um, was homemade. We bought this on Craigslist for a steal and fixed it up. Here we put tents, uh, sleeping bags, all of our gear. So yeah, that is our setup. Each canoe weighs 56 pounds and they are Discovery 19 Solar Sportsman. You can duck hunt out of them, you can fish, you can do really whatever you want. You can haul a deer with them. Finally made it to our first lake. We unpacked the kayaks from the trailer and now we're ready to go. So all our gear, there's backpack, paddle, nets, little cooler, tent, sleeping bag, paddles, this fishing pole, everything. And this is our first lake. We are all set up in our ginormous Sasquatch tent. Just got set up our sleeping bags. So the gear you need for this trip is not that complicated. Uh, this is the only box I bring with me. When I go up to the Adirondacks, you want to pack light because you're packing in. So other than all this gear that I have here, I have a pair of pliers, a net, and a fishing pole. Uh, any net will work. And for the fishing pole, um, I'd recommend like a medium light. Seems to work the best. Um, like an ultra light, you're getting a little too, a little too small because you're trying to troll um, these spoons. So but all you really need is you need a leader, and you connect that um, from the wobbler. Uh, then you have like 18 inches of leader and then you connect the hook where you put an earthworm on uh, But yeah, all, all I bring with me. I have a bobber. You don't really need a bobber for this kind of fishing at all But here are the wobblers. Um, I got these at Walmart. I'll put a link It's where you can get them online. They work really well. I mean all the colors we've had luck on silver gold blue uh, snap snivels barrel swivels all that to connect your line um, and then any small hook or hook will work, um, but you don't want a giant hook. And for my leader, four pound fluorocarbon I've learned works the best. You can go a little bigger or a little heavier with your line if you want, and you don't have to use fluorocarbon, you can use mono, doesn't really matter, I prefer fluoro. And yeah, and then I brought some spinners with me, I usually do, for the sake of, um, 
just casting like by your campsite and stuff if you don't want to troll you can use that um, and then obviously you can use fly gear as well I brought fly gear the first time I went and I didn't really end up using it that much um, but we did catch some uh, brook trout on like olive or boogers would be your best bet for fly gear but for trolling this is my setup the canoes what are we having for breakfast chef Derek Log. So we just packed up our stuff and we're going to do our first trolling loop around the lakes and see how we do. First little fish of the trip. Look at that color on wow. This is a pretty fish. <laughs> Gone. Went right under my boat. Pretty brookie. Such a pretty fish. So we just got back from our first trolling adventure. We went around the whole pond and we caught uh Derek caught a rainbow and I caught a brookie. Um they're both super pretty fish. But yeah, the brookie swallowed the hook, so he's going to be our lunch. We're gonna cook him up with some butter and some lemon pepper. So he should be pretty delicious. Um, then after lunch, we are gonna go troll the same pond again, and then we're just gonna go and uh, troll another pond too that is stocked with brookies, I guess, or I don't know if it's stocked, but the guy that we were fishing next to today said that he caught um, a bunch of brookies out of there. And that there. I think there's only brookies in that pond, so it should be good. Something tried to steal my spoons. Brook trout with butter and lemon pepper. Just about as fresh as you can get it. Not like super bright. It might be a splake. I don't know how you tell. Yeah, it looks like a brookie. It's just not colorful.
the little mouse who ate our food. This earlier. morning I'm fishing here. Let's see if we can get some brook trout. Brookies in here. You can see this down tree right here, like that's perfect rookie habitat. Not expecting that. Hell yeah, that's a really nice one. They're super so we are officially done fishing for the trip. I don't even know, we only caught one rookie this morning. We caught a rainbow yesterday and we caught couple brookies yesterday not a ton but we got a pretty good amount and yeah so that's our uh, that's our fishing exciting stuff yee yee hey guys i hope you liked my first attempt at making a youtube video I actually went on this trip um, a couple months ago. I went at the end of September, beginning of October, and it is now the beginning of January 2021. So, Happy New Year! And let me know if you guys liked this video or if you want to see more of like videos like this. Um, I love doing the Adirondack packing trips, but I also steelhead fish. I fly fish, I hunt, um, hike. Like, let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see from me subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos and please like this video if you enjoyed it so yeah if you guys are curious about me check out my instagram it's peyton h31 i post pretty much like my whole life is on there if you guys don't want to do that just ask me in the comments and i'll an answer all of your questions a couple things i didn't mention throughout the video that i just forgot to or whatever so these portages that you take the canoes through can be a couple miles long depending on where you go so I would definitely go online, look up exactly where you're going, exactly like the map and everything um, of your trip so you know how long it's gonna take you to get to where you're going. Doing these trips in the dark is a little hard. I mean, we did, when we first got there, it was dark by the time we hit the trail um, and set up camp in the dark, which is tough, but just make sure you bring lights, make sure you bring a lot of water, especially if you're going in the summer or I mean, well, actually, you need water regardless, but definitely if you're going in the summer, bring lots of extra water. Make sure you're at least, you don't necessarily have to be in shape to do this, but just make sure you're kind of in shape because it can get a little sketchy out there. There's not many people out there. Um, and you can just get yourself into a lot of sticky situations if you're not careful. So please be careful. And also let me know if you guys do this or if you guys think it's cool or if you've ever heard of this or anything like that. I know my way to do this is a little unconventional. I mean, we got a lot of weird looks walking through, like dragging our canoes. Um, most people who do it, they have the really light ones that like, hold it over their head, um, which is really cool. But I don't have a canoe like that and I wouldn't spend the money I already have this canoe. So I kind of improvise. I worked with what I had. If you go to a really easy portage, you can even do this with a kayak. Um, you just have to, like I said, you have to look at the map and see how long it's gonna take you to get to your campsite. We jumped around lake to lake and chose different campsites. Um, so yeah, like I said, let me know um, what videos you guys want to see if you like this. If you liked this video, please click like, please subscribe, and hopefully I will have another video for you guys soon. So see you later. Bye.